During the month of October 2017, the American National Archives revealed several secret documents related to the assassination of former U.S. President John F. Kennedy. Dozens of Washington Post reporters were able to view these documents and published them on the Internet on Thursday and Friday October 26 and 27, 2017. Respectively, and among the most important of these documents were those related to the planning of the assassination of Fidel Castro and other leaders. The document, dating from 1964, describes a meeting of Cuban exiles in an attempt to price the heads of Fidel Castro, his brother Raul Castro and Ernesto Che Guevara. It appeared that the assembled initially wished to put $155,000 on Castro's head, then they considered it high, until the position was later settled on $100,000. While it was decided to put $20,000 on Raul's head and the same for Guevara's. Other documents revealed multiple American plans aimed at assassinating Castro since he was prime minister. Including a document that General Jonovan, who was negotiating with Castro for the release of detainees in the Bay of Pigs, would provide him with a diving suit that was contaminated with toxic substances. Another scheme was to assign the CIA a middleman to communicate with a gangster, offering him $150,000 to use a gunman and send him to Cuba to assassinate Castro. Frustrating this idea, however, was John F. Kennedy, then Attorney General, who considered that the use of such persons meant that they would be difficult to prosecute in the future. Another document mentioned a plan to poison Castro's drink by people from the world of organized crime, so that they would deliver the pills to their acquaintances in Cuba. And then someone who could drop them in Castro's drink. According to the documents, the poison was actually delivered twice to the gangsters. But the Cuban agent panicked in both cases and the operation failed. The document states that among the command schemes, 